Uh, greetings and salutations, YouTube. This is Fragments of Memory, your friendly neighborhood armchair philosopher. Um, I recently was watching a YouTube video where a woman was instructing other women that were seeking a potential mate to vet men for character. And as I began to listen to the video, my, my one thing I kept asking myself was, can you vet someone for character? How do you detect good or bad character in someone? Now, you could watch what they do, but sometimes people can do the right things, but be not so good people. So upon initial meeting and even for a very long time, people can do all the right things, say all the right things. And then of course, surprise you with something else, which is why I subscribe to the idea of we are both, cre we are creatures of both virtue and vice. We're not just virtuous all the time. And we're not just full of vice all the time. We were multifaceted as people. Now, if you follow the Calvinistic theology that is prevalent in Christianity, you would believe in the total depravity of man. That once Adam partook of the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, that taint of sin was upon us. Now, I don't subscribe to that, but if you do, that could explain <coughs> some of the ideas regarding the bad actions of people, the bad character of people. Um... And as I'm looking at my notes here, so forgive the um, but before I attempt to try to to sort of respond to the lady, what is character? Now, I decided to do a little dictionary search, a little dictionary definition search, and I looked at, a, uh, I looked at Webster's New World Dictionary, third edition, and for the intents and purposes of this discussion, um, one of the definitions was a distinctive trait quality or attribute a characteristic like maybe you have a twitch that's that's a part of your character or maybe you have a lisp maybe you have some type of trait maybe you're giving maybe you sneeze when you laugh maybe you snort when you laugh then there's the essential quality nature kind or sort that's another definition for character and another definition is the pattern of behavior or personality found in an individual or group moral constitution what is your moral constitution what are you made up of and then of course moral strength uh self-discipline fortitude etc like you know this builds character so this moral strength and when i guess that woman was saying vet men for character i'm assuming she may have meant moral strength self-discipline fortitude and even the pattern of behavior <laughs> like what patterns does this person exude now, upon examining some of those definitions, I come back to that question. Now, then I would ask, what is your measuring stick to determine what is good and what is bad? Is it the Bible? Is it the Quran? Is it the Bhagavad Gita? Is it the Tao Te Ching? Is it the Analects of Confucius? Is it the Upanishads? Is it the Mahabharata? Is it, is it the Book of Mormon? Is it... Is it the Fahami Gospel? Is it the Torah? What, what measurement? Is it your own heart? And if it's your own heart, can your heart truly measure character? Or will it only be based upon certain experiences and certain values that you have been imbued with? And that's just a question I'm putting out there. Another thing I'd like to point out is, is that if we're going to the religious sources, um, one of the things that uh, Jesus says, according to the Bible, a man comes up to Jesus and says, good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And before Jesus goes into the talk about eternal life, he says, why callest thou me good? There is none good but God. Now, there's also a hadith in, uh, there's a hadith in Islam. There's a collection of writings called the hadith which are the sayings, eyewitness accounts, uh, the actions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And one of the things that uh, is related in this hadith is a man says about another Muslim, oh, he's a good man. And then, of course, either Muhammad or Umar ibn al-Khattab, who was a companion of the Prophet Muhammad, he responded three times very harshly. You have cut his throat. You have cut his throat. You have cut his throat. And then he goes on to explain, 
you don't say this is a good person. You say he he seems to me to be a good person or I think he's a good person. He appears to me to be a good person. You do not say he is a good person because you do not know that person. Only God truly knows the person's heart. Even the book of Proverbs talks about how man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. In Islam, they talk in and in, in Islam they talk about how God will not just judge you for your actions. You will also be judged for the intention behind the action. And often um many 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 Muslims pray may God purify my intentions to make sure my intent is right as well as my action. So one of the things that people so when you get into talking about good character and bad character can we truly judge that I can judge that you're not going to harm me to a certain degree I can judge that I can trust you I can judge whether or not you and I share certain values certain systems of thinking but I cannot truthfully 100% fully vet a person for their character because truly only God knows the true state or purity, or at least that's the belief I subscribe to. I believe that the creator knows you in and out, through and through, upwards, downwards, leftwards, and rightwards. But we don't know. We only have our experience and, and of course we have whatever thing we consider our measuring stick. Well, that's my two cents on character. Tell me what you think. Video response or even a comment down in the comment section. You know where it is. So uh, peace. Be easy like Sunday morning and take care.